it's your girl Jasmine and welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you guys are new. 27 hearts beat! So today I am going to be giving a life update. I'm going to be talking about kind of where I'm at right now in my life, how I've been doing since graduating college and honestly this is just a kind of after college update so i know i've mentioned this before and i put it in the title of this video but i did graduate from university with my four-year bachelor's degree at 20 years old i am now 21 i actually graduated like 11 days i think before my 21st birthday so i still am like i was 20 it was meant to be like that now i don't say that to like brag or anything like that because honestly if you finish college at any age that is an accomplishment you know education can be hard life gets in the way but if you want to finish college any age is a good age to do it but I emphasize the fact that I did graduate at 20 years old because that was super young to graduate from college I feel like most people graduate from college at, at least 21 to 23 most of the time if they're going into college right after high school so for me i did what was called the early college my high school was called like the middle college high school that was like the last part of my high school's name it was like the high school and then middle college high school if that makes any sense my high school for the last two years for my junior and my senior year was on a college campus or a community college campus so i was able to get my associate's degree while I was still in high school. Now, technically I stayed in high school for an extra year. So I graduated from high school in 2017, technically walking the stage in 2017. But if we're gonna get a little bit more technical, I actually finished high school, like all of my high school credits in December of 2015. And then if I would have stayed at my regular high school, I would have graduated spring of 2016 so honestly everything is all jumbled and it's all a mess but it's a good mess technically my little tassel when i walked across the stage for high school was 2017 but i also like a couple days before i walked for high school i walked for college which was a little bit weird i walked for the community college with my two-year associate's degree so that was pretty awesome i was able to get my associate's degree for free through the public school system that we have here and that was honestly such a blessing for me that I was able to do that and then from that I was able to transfer into a university and I only was there for two years so I was there for two years and a semester so I started there in the fall of 2017 and I finished in the summer of 2019 so that was that I have made a video on commuting to university I will put it in the card above if you want to watch that it kind of gives you a little bit of insight on how my life was at college um, being a commuter and because I only was there for two years so I did drive to school every day so after I graduated from college uh, by the way I did graduate with my bachelor's of science in health systems management so that is the degree I got that is not the path I thought I was gonna go on going into college but that is what I came out of college with as I said I graduated I actually graduated August 10th of 2019 that was my last day of college and after that as you all probably already know life has been a little bit hard for me um, it's been really hard to find a job uh, it's been really hard on me in general so when I graduated from college I did not have a job I had actually recently just quit my job at Amazon that's another story for another day so pretty much from then until the beginning of this year I did not have a job so that is August, September, October, November. That's five months without a job. And then even before that, I had a job for like a month and then I didn't have a job for a little while. But we're not talking about that. We're talking about after I graduated. So after I graduated for all of August and then until the beginning of this year, I did not have a job. I was searching for something in my field or something that could get me some experience, but I did not have a job. That was really hard on me. I know I talked about it a lot in a lot of my videos and it was just something that honestly weighed on my life for a really long time. So in January, I did get a job, but it is not 
a career or a job that I want. But right now I do work at a juicery place. I think that's kind of how you say it. Is that what they're called? Where you're like, you know, it's like a healthy place. You make smoothies and juices and all that type of stuff. And I am not making good money at all. But as I also have told you guys, I think I did get into a car accident at the beginning of November. So I'm also carless right now. So I pretty much just got this job. I kind of took the first thing that was like given to me just so I could save money to get a new car because we found out that my car probably can't be fixed. RIP to Bertha. I didn't want to make this video to like put anybody like down or like make anyone like feel like oh my gosh I'm not gonna get a job right after college and all this because you might you might get the best job of your life right outside of college but I also want to share the reality of the fact that you also might not but I also want to share that internships in college are a phenomenal thing and I wish I would have gotten one and I wish I would have known about them and about the fact that I needed to have one because that is the experience that you need in order to show these jobs after you graduate like hey I have some experience here's what I've done you know so they are more entitled to hire you so that is my key tip of this video if you are in college get an internship it will help you in the long run but I also want to emphasize the fact that I was only 20 years old when I graduated from college so I am now only 21 which is still very young so I am learning to not beat myself up all the time about the fact that I don't have a career I don't know what I'm doing I don't even know if I want to use this degree for what it's meant to be used for um, I have all these thoughts constantly running through my head of I don't know if I made the right decision in college did I make the right decision with this degree am I gonna use this degree should I go get my master's degree honestly it's all something that runs through my mind like 24 7 and I have to stop stressing about it and I have to stop beating myself up about it because people keep telling me in my life you are only 21 years old you graduated college at 20 that is super young you have so much ahead of you you don't have to have your life figured out right now and for me I feel like I move very fast so if you are like me I know you can relate my mind moves fast I'm like okay I've finished one thing now it's on to the next I need to be growing and right now I really feel like I'm not growing I'm kind of declining but I need to not look at it like that I need to look at this at a period in my life where you know things just might not be going that great but at least I have a roof over my head I have a way to get to work I have a job I'm making some form of money and I have what I have right now because I know there are so many people out there who have nothing and you know don't even have the opportunity to go to college so I look at my situation and then I have to look at the bigger picture so like I said right now in my life I am trying to pursue something um, I do want to get some form of a better job obviously so I can probably get a car faster and get my life on track I was gonna say back on track but honestly I don't know if it was ever on track so we're gonna get life on track and moving and if that takes a while it's okay honestly I've wanted to make this video kind of to I guess vent about how I've been feeling after college and everything and also to kind of just share with you guys that it's okay to feel the way that you feel and if you feel like I feel it is okay and it's also okay to not have your life completely together in your early 20s even though I feel like my life is coming to an end because I don't have anything together I'm only 21 years old and I have a long life ahead of me to figure everything out but I also have to cherish every day that I do have and try to work towards what I want only you know what you want and only you can accomplish your goals so set those goals and I'm doing a lot better with writing and goal setting and wanting to better myself that is kind of it for this video I know it's kind of all over the place and I kind of just talked a lot about my life and about everything I hope you guys enjoyed this if you like different types of life updates and things like that give this video a thumbs up and let me know down below because I can give you more updates like how I'm doing how I'm feeling 
how life is progressing since graduating from college at 20 years old. I am very grateful that I was able to graduate college at 20. If you are in college right now, you can do it. This is your motivation. Finish it out. You got this. But like I said, I really hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel down below and turn on the post notifications so you're notified every time I post a new video. Also, don't forget to follow me on social media. It'll be somewhere on the screen and in the description bar down below. Also, my Etsy shop, Instagram, and shop will be in the description down below as well so you can go shop today. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.